A very good morning children. Today we are going to learn social studies. The first chapter changes and choices. We learned about living and non-living things and the changes that happens in the living things. Today we are going to learn about animals and their young ones. We learned that animals are living beings. So animal is able to move, they are able to grow, they are able to breathe and produce young ones. And these young ones have names. So let's see what are the names of these young ones. So a goat. And what do you call the young one of a goat? We call it a kid. So what is the young one of a goat? It's a kid. Next, it's a bird. And the young one of a bird is called nestling. The bird lays eggs and when the eggs hatches, the young one comes out of it and we call it the nestling. We'll move on to the next one. It's a dog. And what do you call the young one of a dog? It's a puppy. This is a cat. And the young one of a cat, we call it kitten. Here we can see hen. And what is the young one of a hen called? Chick. This is a cow. The young one of a cow is called a calf. Here we can see duck. And what is the young one of a duck called? We call it as duckling. This is pig. The young one of a pig, we call it as piglet. This is sheep. And the young one of a sheep is called lamb. We can see an elephant here and the baby elephant is called a calf. The lion, young one of a lion is called cub. Here we can see a bear and a cub. So what is a young one of bear called? It's a cub. A deer, it's a fawn. What is a young one of deer? It is fawn. You can see a kangaroo here. You know what is the young one's name? It is Joy. And you can see an owl and an owlet. So what is the young one of an owl called? It is Owlet. So these are the names of some of the animals and their young ones. So now let's move on to the exercises in the text. Open your text. You can take page number 3. In that, you can see the checkpoint. There, we need to tick the young ones that will grow up as they become older and cross the things that will not grow. So, we learnt living things grow, non-living things do not grow. So, we have to tick the things that will grow. So, we can see a fawn. What is a fawn? We saw that it's a young one of a deer. So, does that grow? If yes, tick. If no, cross. Let's move on to the next one. You can see a picture of a car. Does car grow? If yes, you can tick or else you can cross it. Next is a pencil. Pencil grows or does not grow. Tick that. You can see a cub there. It's a young one of a tiger. So does a cub grow? If yes, you can put a tick over there or you just cross in the box. After that, you can see a chair. Does a chair grow? If yes, put a tick over there. If no, put a cross. And then you can see a caterpillar. Does a caterpillar grow? Put a tick. If yes, put a cross. If no. So hope you have done with it. Let's check the answers. A fawn. It's a young one of a deer we told. So it grows. So we can put a tick over there. Next, a car. Does a car grow? No. So put a cross over there. Next is a pencil. Pencil is a non-living thing. Does that grow? No. So I hope you have crossed the box. Next is a cub. A cub grows. 
So we have to tick in the box. A chair, chair is a non-living thing and it doesn't grow. So just cross in the box. A caterpillar, a caterpillar grows into a beautiful butterfly. So it's a living thing, it grows. You just tick in the box. So next we learn about choices. What is choices? We have to learn to choose correctly. What all things we do, we need to choose it. Suppose you are given many pencils and you have to pick from it. You are confused. But we have to learn to pick the correct thing. We need to choose the correct thing. So let's learn about choices. We have to learn to choose things. Suppose in the classroom, teacher is teaching and your friends all are sitting with you. Now you have the choice either to listen to the teacher or you can talk with your friend. At that moment, what is right? Listening to the teacher or talking to your friend? Of course, you have to listen to the teacher. Then you can go afterwards and go talk to your friend. So that is the thing we need to choose. We need to learn to choose. You are given a homework, lot of homework is there, but you want to play. What is the thing we have to choose? After finishing our homework, we can go for playing. So whatever we choose, we need to choose correctly. So let's move on to the exercise of that. In the page number 3 itself, you can see an activity. Tick the things you can do on your own and cross what you cannot do on your own. What all things you can do and what all things you are not able to do on your own. In the first picture, you can see a girl tying lace. Are you able to tie a lace on your own? In the next picture, you can see a girl riding a cycle. Are you able to do? If yes, you can put a tick or else just cross over there. And in the third picture, you can see a child eating food. Are you able to eat food on your own or your mother feeds you? Now put a tick if you are able to do on your own and cross if you are not doing it on your own. Moving to the next page, page number 4, you can see the fun learning. Here put a tick mark for the choice you will make if you are Anna or Sunil. In the first picture you can see two girls standing over there. That is, Anna has to go to a birthday party. What should she choose to wear? She is confused what to wear. So what you think is the right, you can tick over there. In the second picture, you can see Sunil is in the classroom while his teacher is speaking to the class. How should he choose to behave? He can either listen to the teacher or he can talk to his friend. What do you think is right? Just put a tick over there. Hope you have done with that. Let's move on to the exercises. Arrange the following pictures in the correct order from a baby to a six-year-old girl by numbering them one to four. We learned that a baby turns into a toddler, child, teenager and an adult. Now looking in this picture, we have to number it. In the first picture, it's a baby. Second, the baby is crawling. Third picture, the girl has increased in its height. In the fourth picture, she's learning to walk. So first, what comes? We have to number it. One, two, three, four. You can do it on your own. Hope you have done with that. Let's check. So first, it's a baby. Now in the first picture, the baby is lying down. So what comes first? Is the number one? Yes. When a baby is born, it's able to lie down. In the second picture, we can see the baby crawling. So is it the second stage? Yes. So put the number two over there. In the third picture, we can see the girl has grown up. Is that the third one? Or the fourth picture, the girl is learning to walk. So which is the third one? So you need to put the number three in the picture which she is learning to walk and in the fourth, in the next picture you have to put the number four. So hope you are done with that. Let's move on to the next exercise. We can see match the baby animals to their parents. In row A you can see ducklings, kitten, puppy and cough. 
In row B, you can see cow, dog, cat and duck. Now we have to match it. So ducklings, that young one of a duck is called a duckling. So match the ducklings to duck. You can write the number 1 in the place of duck. Next, kitten. Kitten is a young one of a cat. So just write 2 in the place of cat. Third picture we can see a puppy. What is the mother animal of puppy? It's a dog. So you have to put number 3 near dog. And the last one is a cough. What? Calf is a young one of a cow. So put four near cow. Hope you have done with this. Let's move on. Tick the correct option and help the following, chil following children make the right choice. First, let's see. Radhika has to complete her homework. What should she choose to do? In the first picture, you can see that she is sitting and doing her homework. In the second picture, you can see that she is watching TV. When she is having homework, what you think is the right thing to do? Put a tick which is right and put a cross which is wrong. Let's move on to the next picture. Nasrath wants to write down the slide in the playground. How should he choose to behave? In the first picture, we can see that he is waiting for his turn. In the second picture, we can see that Nashrat is pushing the other child to get onto the slide. So what do you think? Should we wait for our turn or should we push others for playing? What you think is right, just put a tick over there. Let's take the next page. Here, you can see, think it over. That means you have to think. Let's see what it is. You have learned that we change as we grow. You may have a younger or older brother, sister, cousin. Make a list of things that they can do and then list out the things which you can do. Now compare the two lists. For this, you can take your notebook. Take your notebook, take a fresh page, write today's date and write the things that you can do and your older brother, sister or cousin or your younger brother, sister or cousin, whatever may be, that they can do and which you can do. So write down this in your notebook neatly. Hope you understood. I'll explain once again. You have to make a list of things that they can do, whether they are younger or elder. And list the things which you can do. Make a list and write it in your notebook neatly. Next is an activity corner. It's a game. So you can play this game in your house with your parents or grandparents. Let's see what it is. Play the I am growing game. The children get sent around in a circle. One child will have a ruler in his hand and run around outside the circle. So all the children have to sit in a circle. One child will be having a ruler in his hand and they should run outside the circle. He will then touch a child with his ruler. Whoever he touches becomes a baby, a child, a parent or a grandparent. The child must act out the role he has been given. So all are sitting in a circle. One person will be running with a ruler outside the circle and he has to touch one person. And they have to act like Baby, child, parent or a grandparent. Do this with your parents and grandparents in your home. The next activity, you take a photo when you were a baby and take a present photo. Now compare the changes. What all has changed? Anything has changed? Your features has changed? And make a list of it in your notebook. Write down all the activities. Take a picture of it and send it to the WhatsApp number of Garden School. So hope you all have understood what all was taught. With this, we finish our first chapter. Thank you.